Charlemagne say the gang dunk it other day. Charlemagne, you are a dog. The Breakfast Club. What you laughing about? Listen, before we move on to Donkey today, Angela Yee, people don't respect Envy as a DJ, What happened? Man. Somebody just texted me and said, I really appreciate the shout-out for Craig Mack this morning. Hope Envy can play flavor in your ear one time for the culture. Man, man. That, wow. Envy, you weren't going to play no Craig Mack? <laughs> of course. Wow. Of Tell course. June Balloon don't disrespect you like that, June man. June Balloon, we got Get Down. We got Craig Mack. We got Flavor in Your Ear, the Flavor in Your Ear remix. Though. We got a couple of Craig Mack joints. That's the basics. That's the big what, what, what other Craig Mack record do you know? No, no, I'm saying that's right, the, big, the fact that he wouldn't expect you to play. You know? June Balloon's old. He doesn't really know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Shout out to June Balloon. Focus. All right. And our condolences again to Craig Mack's family. Yes. Yeah. And loved ones. And we'll tell you how Craig Mack pressed in be back in the day a little later. <laughs> now, Donkey of the Day for Tuesday, March 13th, goes to the Education Secretary of the Divided States of America, Betsy DeVos. Now, full disclosure, all this time I thought her name was Betsy DeVoe. Mm. Okay. And the only DeVoe I acknowledge is the legendary Ronnie DeVoe of BBD and New Edition fame. Drop on the clues bombs for Ronnie DeVoe, damn it. Okay. I don't know why when I look at her last name, which is spelled... Yeah, there's an S at the end. I know. It's spelled D-E-V-O-S. I, I read it as DeVoe. Maybe I'm dyslexic and don't know it, or maybe the South Carolina school system failed me. Who knows? All I do know, school systems will continue to fail our youth, especially when we have people like Betsy DeVos being in positions like education secretary. Look, I graduated from night school, but this math is quite simple for me. Betsy DeVos is simply not qualified to be education secretary, okay? One plus one clearly equals two in this equation. Like, it doesn't take long to notice when you have a point guard playing center that that center, uh, I mean, that point guard is not in their natural position, okay? I don't know what Betsy DeVos's natural position is, but it's not education secretary. All right, the education secretary deals with federal influence over education policy and heads the U.S. Department of Education. Now, here's the thing. Maybe asking Betsy to know what's going on across the whole USA is a bit much. Okay, we can't possibly expect her to know how schools are performing all over the country. It's not like it's her job or something. Okay, I'm just trying to play white devil's advocate mm-hmm. here. All right, everyone in the Trump administration sadly must be graded on a curve. So let's not ask her about things going on all over the country. Let's keep it to Michigan. That's where she was born. That's where she was from. That's her state. Uh, well, Leslie Stahl, the interviewer who was interviewing her on 60 Minutes the other night, hit Betsy DeVos with a simple question. Super softball. Gave Betsy every opportunity to knock it out the park. Okay? In fact, it wasn't even a softball. All right? It, it was a t-ball. All right? It's right there. All you have to do is swing and hit it. Leslie Stahl simply asked Betsy, how are Michigan's public schools performing? Now let's hear what happened. Have the public schools in Michigan gotten better? Uh, I don't know. Overall, I, I can't say overall that they have all gotten better. The whole state is not doing well. Well, there are certainly lots of pockets where the, the, the students are doing no, well. Have you seen the really bad schools? Maybe try to figure out what what they're doing i have not i have not i have not intentionally visited schools that are underperforming maybe you should uh, maybe i should yes i take that back that maybe wasn't a so. softball that wasn't a softball that was t-ball uh, Betsy DeVos is from Michigan. Michigan is our state. Even if you aren't qualified to be education secretary all across America, you should at least know what's happening in your backyard. How in the hell does Betsy strike out in T-ball? Play the clip again. Have the public schools in Michigan gotten better? Uh, I don't know. Overall, I, I can't say overall that they have all gotten better. The whole state is not doing well. Well, there are certainly lots of pockets where the, the, the students are doing no, well. Have you seen the really bad schools? Maybe try to figure out what what they're doing. I have not. I have not. I have not intentionally visited schools that are underperforming. Maybe you should. Uh, maybe I should. Yes. The education. That been the first thing you did. Yes. The education secretary of the United States of America says I have not intentionally visited schools that are underperforming. I have not intentionally visited schools that are underperforming. I have not intentionally worn condoms this winter, even though I have herpes. Uh, I told you I may be dyslexic, so I hear things differently. I have not intentionally called an Uber, even though I'm drunk, uh, I'm a drive. You hear how ridiculous those statements sounded? That's how I have not intentionally visited schools that are underperforming sounds, okay? Intention is everything. Intention creates our reality. Uh, You don't not intentionally visit schools that are underperforming. You intentionally visit the schools that are underperforming because you don't want them to underperform anymore, okay? Shouldn't you, as the education secretary, intentionally visit schools that are underperforming? Isn't that the point? Isn't it the point of being the education secretary to help schools throughout the country that are underperforming? Am I missing something here? I don't know. I, I, I thought that was her job. It is. 
Some donkey of the days just sell themselves. Please give Betsy DeVos the biggest hee-haw, please. I'm telling you, man, the world as we know it is a spoof. Okay, God has the same sense of humor that Ken Peel had, that Chappelle and Neil Brennan had, that the folks of SNL had. This is all a spoof. Okay, whatever you think it's supposed to be, it's not. Whatever you think was said, wasn't said. All right? People are not on the same wavelength, bro. It's just not happening.